All right, well, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the uh, Django administration site. We're actually going to add our model, our post model that we created in models.py into that um, administrative site. So first thing we need to do is actually go ahead and take a look at it so we know what we're working with. So what I want you to do is uh, fire up your uh, Django server, development server. So we do that by doing uh, Python three uh, manage py run server all right so that's going to fire up the server and while it's doing that i'm going to bring over my browser here and once it runs waiting for it waiting for it there we go um go ahead and uh put in the url it's 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and then uh, admin. All right, so it's going to bring us to the admin site. Um, it's going to ask us to sign in here in a second and go ahead and log in. Now you're going to see that actually that sign sign in is actually your um, super user that we created in the previous tutorial. Uh, so go ahead and use that login information. I didn't tell you that. Anyhow, uh, when we log into the administrator site, we see up here in the in the header, you got uh, the Django administration, and welcome, and then our name, or whatever name you put in, um, I put in admin. Um, then we can click on some links over here, view site, change password, and log out. All right. Um, nothing here too crazy that you wouldn't understand. And then down here, we see site administration. Now, this is the authentication package that comes with the Django. This allows us to uh, do a few things. Um, First off, it handles the authentication package handles uh, things like uh, users, uh, groups, like we can group users together, permissions, cookie-based user uh, sessions, stuff like that. Uh, we can also create users in here. So if we clicked on users, take a look at users. I don't use groups all that often. So we can actually create um, some new users in here by add user so if we added a user um, it's going to ask us for a username password and so on uh, we could also the back button here we could also go in and change passwords stuff like that staff status and we can search it's pretty cool um, now we're not going to focus too much on this because it's pretty self-explanatory if you need to add users and whatnot we're actually going to be able to uh, eventually down the road we're going to create our own little admin site and be able to go ahead and modify how it performs and we'll add users and stuff like that from there because um, this is the Django admin site is basically just built um, with the idea of just the developer themselves who would use it by setting up some stuff for the front end and whatnot um, if you're trying to get a little crazy then I highly suggest that you build your own admin site because it does have its limitations it's built for a broad audience not built just for us you know what we're trying to do so anyhow <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a look at um, the admin.py file because we want to add our model that we created in the previous tutorial um, right here our post model we want to go ahead and add that into the admin site so let's go ahead and open up admin and you'll see right now there's just one liner here uh, from the django.contrib import admin what it's doing is importing the admin so we can actually work with the admin site all right which was included in our settings file when we saw that um, so let's go ahead and add our model in there so we can see that in the back end to do that we're going to do from dot models import post all right so what's going on here well from dot models which is our file down here models.py we could also do from blog dot models import post but that's just a little crazy because then you're just typing out more than you have to so since it's inside the same directory of blog we can do from dot models import post all right and what we're doing is importing this post object here so we're importing that so we can work with it in admin. Now, if we save it, still does not does nothing for us in our administrative site. So if I refresh it, 
nothing, of course. Nothing happened. I gotta refresh it again. And there you go. You see nothing's changed here because we actually have to register our model. And how do we register our model? Well, it's pretty simple. We'll just come down here a couple lines and we're gonna do admin. All right. And then we're gonna do site, and then register. And then inside register, we're gonna do post and save that. And now if we go into our site and refresh, we're going to get the blog post. Blog post. There you go. All right. So we got a new section here, and it's blog, and then our post. So let's go ahead and click on post. And this is uh, like the list display of all your posts. Since we haven't created a post yet, we don't have any here. So let's go ahead and create a post. And don't get too crazy here because we'll probably end up deleting it down the road, but it's nice to uh, have something to work with in our next tutorial. So we'll do, uh, this is a blog post. This is a slug. And the reason why I have the hyphens here is that's how slugs work. There should be no white space. Um, this is our content. This is our SEO title. This is our SEO Descript. And we'll choose an author as admin or whoever you chose. And then here's our publish. It's kind of like a JavaScript type, hey, time, date, whatever. And then we'll mark it as published. So go ahead and hit save. And this is going to take us back to um, the list display that I showed you before. And here you go. Now, you see it's showing us the title. In the, a couple of tutorials ago when we were working with the models, I was um, explaining to you that uh, human readable, the function at the bottom of the models here, define string as self, return self, that title. Let's go ahead and comment, comment this out real quick. And let's just put a string in here, and I'll just do uh, A, B, C. All right. Go ahead and save that. Go back to your admin site and give it a second to catch up refresh it and now you see our to our our title is abc all right with that being said that's the human readable so when we change this to abc that's what's going to return to us as a human readable object abc well we don't really want that so how about if we did something like this self dot seo now it's going to return to us the SEO title. So we'll go back in, just wait for this to catch up, and back up here. Yeah, it's still going to catch up. What it's going to do is return to us the SEO title. Once it catches up. And there you go. This is our SEO title. Now we don't want it as that either in the in most in most uh, scenarios, we're going to want it as our uh, title. So we'll go ahead and just delete this and take away the comment. Oops. Delete this, take away the comment. And we'll save that. And now our title goes back to the same. Um, if we go back into our um, administrative site here, we see there's not much content here. So in the next tutorial, we're going to modify how our display, how our posts are displayed to us, which is a pretty cool feature within the Django site. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Um, so I'll see you in the next tutorial.